What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having a creative day today. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to edit this photo. And we're going to be doing this in Adobe Lightroom. I'm also going to give you uh, the Lightroom preset for free as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so you can see here I have the before picture at the top and I have the after at the bottom. Pretty much the what I was going for was kind of like a golden, like a soft golden hour type of feel. I wanted to give the skin like some, you know, some warm skin tones and stuff like that. So yeah, this was all done right inside Adobe Lightroom. So let's just go ahead and get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my white balance and we're going to bring it up to make it warmer. We're going to make it like 6800. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bump my contrast up to 10, just to give it a little bit of contrast. I'm going to bring my highlights down to like negative 50. And my shadows, I'm going to bring my shadows up to 50, maybe like 57, let's say 55. Yeah. I'm going to bring the whites down to like negative 15 just to get rid of some of those highlights. You know, when you have highlights blown out in your pictures, um, you always want to make sure you fix those. And that's part of the reason why I un underexposed this picture here. So I'm going to bring my blacks up to 10. So I'm going to go straight down to my curves. And I'm going to try to give this a nice S curve. I'm going to place an anchor point on my mid-tones, my shadows, and my highlights. I'm going to bring my shadows down. Like that. I'm going to bring the highlights up. So when you're dealing with curves, everything in the middle are your mid-tones. Everything on the right is going to be your highlights. And everything on the left side of this, this graph is going to be your shadows. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, that is the RGB channel. I want to go to the red channel. And I'm going to place some anchor points on each line like I did before. Put an anchor point on the shadows here mid-tones and highlights okay. I'm gonna bring the reds up in the middle like that As you can see it's already um, the image is uh, a lot more warm than it was before I'm gonna go to the green channel I'm going to place my anchor points again. And this time I'm just going to drag the um, my shadows. I'm going to take the green out the shadows. So I'm going to move this in like this. Well, actually, let me take this. Uh, I'm going to remove this anchor point. And I'm just going to drag this point down here <clears throat> in the bottom left. I'm going to drag it to the right. It's going to make the image. Uh, it's going to add more magenta to the shadows. Just like that. We're going to go to the blue channel. I'm going to place an anchor point in the middle and on the right side here for my highlights. And I'm just going to drag the left side up to um, add some blue to the shadows. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my RGB channel and I'm gonna bring the shadows back up just a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. 
Okay, so the last thing I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening. I'm going to make that maybe like 60. I'm going to come down to my calibration. And for the tint, I'm going to increase it to 12. Just like that. Okay, so let's check out the before and after. This is before. This is after. Before. After. All right, so there you go, people. Quick and easy. That is how you give your photos a warm tone. Uh, if, you, if you're trying to achieve that golden hour look, that is how you do it in Adobe Lightroom. You go, make sure you download this preset. I'm going to include two links down below. One link, uh, you can go straight to Dropbox to download the preset for free. The other link, you can go to my website and give me a dollar donation if you would like to do that. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.